seen really any snakes so far, but ran into this guy. I'm not too familiar with scorpions. I'm pretty sure that is the Arizona hairy scorpion. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with scorpions and I don't really like them that much, so I'm gonna get them in a little box here and then I'll come back. All right, so this is the Arizona hairy scorpion. I'm not a huge fan of scorpions. Uh, they're kind of a, a creepy arachnid, but it's still a, a very cool creature nonetheless. Um, they are the biggest scorpions out here. Uh, grow to about five to seven inches in length. Um, they have lightly venomous poison, but it's not considered to be uh, dangerous to people. Not like the uh, bark scorpion that we have out here that can can really do some damage and kill people. Their venom, this guy's venom, is not going to be doing that. Um, pretty much, it goes as the the bigger the the scorpion, the less dangerous it is. So, nonetheless, you know, I, I know people hold them and, and such like stuff like that. I'm, I'm not really going to do that. I'm not a huge fan of scorpions. Um, but they, he has been really docile, hasn't shown a hint of aggression whatsoever. So, um, cool creature nonetheless. Thought I'd show that. Um, you know, another thing too, I mean, you can get the general idea of how big he is. I mean lay my hand next to him he's probably about oh three inches body wise maybe four inches probably three inches body wise if you include the tail he's four or five inches so all right so i was hiking on a trail up here on the mountains and ended up finding a gopher snake now these guys are fully bred species They're pretty much a, a, a very gentle, easygoing snake. They can, you know, show a little bit of aggression, but for the most part, they are pretty much a very gentle, calm, easygoing snake. These guys are pretty much also the most common snake you can possibly have in California. Very, very common. The gopher snake can grow to about eight feet in length. This guy's about, oh, two or three feet so he's just a young one found him uh, half his head sticking out of a hole and it was able to grab him out of the hole uh, they are also an egg laying species just like all the other collier brids are out here the, the bad thing about these guys is they to someone who's not really trained or known they kind of look like a rattlesnake and so unfortunately people kill them and that's uh, unfortunate because they uh, will do a lot of good and, and control rodent population and aren't aren't harmful at all they will pretty much feed on rodents and lizards and birds and birds eggs just like uh, any of the other colibrids will they will occasionally eat other snakes as well anything they can overpower um, these guys are pretty much diurnal and will uh, come out when uh, the sun's at its hottest. This one's early in the morning though, so. Anyway, uh, one other thing with the gopher snake is that they are preyed upon by other snakes, birds of prey, you know, uh, hawks, uh, maybe some predatory mammals, anything that can find them, whether it's a fox or a. Uh, Kit fox, um, coyotes, stuff like that. So, yeah, got my new necklace here. He's pretty gentle, pretty docile. This guy is the zebra tail lizard. This is arguably the fastest lizard in the United States. Super, super fast lizard. The only way you're gonna be able to catch this guy freehand is you gotta wear him out. You gotta get him to go from bush to bush, um, and just tire him out. 
they'll end up slowing down a little bit. You might be able to grab them freehand or hopefully they'll go down a hole that's not too deep and you might be able to dig them out. That's what happened with this guy. I was able to get him in, to go into a little bit of a hole and just dug down a little bit and found his tail, found the hole, wasn't very deep. I was able to pull him out. There's no way you're going to be able to catch these, these lizards running after them. They're far too fast. Very, very fast lizard, but they're also a very, very pretty lizard. Check out the reason why they call them the zebra tail. Very, very pretty lizard. These lizards are pretty much diurnal. They uh, will be out when the temperatures are, are very hot, when most of the lizards will, will take shelter. So they can withstand uh, pretty good uh, high temperatures. Again, this is the zebra tail lizard. Very, very fast lizard. They'll grow uh, to about 10 inches or so, including the tail. This is an adult. This is average size. They will, these lizards will pretty much stay around areas that are, are wide open. You know, you can kind of see behind me, you, know, you kind of got into a wash where it's kind of open space where they can utilize their running ability, and so that's where you'll typically find them. Um, right on the edges uh, of some creosote bushes that they can hide in or run to. These lizards will mostly eat insects, spiders, um, stuff like that. They will also eat other lizards if they can uh, overpower them, probably little lizards, um, babies and, and such. Um, but uh, they will occasionally eat some plant material as well, not, not very often. They're mostly on the, on the um, insects and such, but, but they will eat the plants. Again, this is the zebra tail. Check out his pretty underside there.